control by computers. So what does that mean exactly? Computer is just a machine that's executing commands. So how do we know if it's executing the right set of commands? Well, that's where control theory comes in. That's how you decide from your sensor readings and from a model of your system, what signals you send to your actuators. Now in modern automated systems, these feedback loops, they contain all sorts of control logic. It's called supervisory control logic. And those are like if-then rules. If this, then do that, then do that. Now imagine that you have literally hundreds of these rules. So your intuition cannot predict what's going to happen. And that's where discrete event systems come in because that's an area of research in control engineering that's at the interface with formal methods in computer science. Our goal is to come up with methodologies that will significantly reduce the time that it takes to do the verification and validation of these complex automated systems. Recently, we've been interested in applications in cybersecurity and privacy. We look at how we can keep some information private when a user, for example, is using their cell phone and walking around and making queries to location-based servers. We're also looking at uh, intrusion in cyber-physical systems where a malicious agent can take control of a sensor or an actuator and trying to cause damage to the system. So we also work on systems that are continuous in nature, and then we discretize them and analyze them as discrete event systems. An example of work we've done in that regard recently is how to avoid collisions at traffic intersections that do not use a traffic light. The idea is you send instructions to each vehicle, giving the driver a range of allowed velocities so that all the vehicles would uh, cross the intersection without colliding with each other. This job is great because you learn every day. It's all about learning and the transmission of knowledge. And in my view, research and teaching go hand in hand in accomplishing that mission. Because being a researcher makes me a better teacher and teaching helps me to get better at research. So you don't really understand something until you teach it. As educators, our responsibility is to make sure that students acquire solid foundations. When they leave Michigan, they need to be able to learn on their own to tackle the challenge that they'll be facing.